And these are all ways of helping you move forward. And now we've got the map of the world, your map of how things should have been and building a new map, understanding what emotion you're chasing when they were supposed to be with this person forever. Hey guys, Matt Tate from Fork in the Road YouTube channel. Uh, today I'm doing another quick video from the beach, Pacific Ocean, just over there, Queensland, Australia, the Gold Coast. Just uh, up from Surface Paradise, which is back over there somewhere, those, those buildings behind me. And I'm just talking about grief. And grief, the grief resolution process, which I first learnt from Barry Neal's website, uh, from Barry Neal's YouTube channel, and I'm applying my NLP skills, my mindset skills, my life coaching skills, and overlaying it with it and really unpacking what's going on in that grief process. And you've got those, you know, what is it, the five or seven stages of grief, and scientifically, they've proven that you don't go through all of them. You might go through some. It's not as simple as going through every single stage. Some people don't have the anger phase. Some people don't have the uh, of denial. The denial might last like one minute. You know, that moment of, no, no, it's not true. Well, some people's d denial can last forever. Other people's denial will last a second. The first steps to look at was moving the picture around so it's not blocking your vision. That seemed to be a real common thing that was blocking people from moving forward. But there was resistance. And so we'll deal with this resistance today. The next step in the process was about bringing the qualities of that person into your current present moment. Then we can take another step beyond that by bringing the qualities of that person and seeing it in the present moment and also seeing it in the future. This really helps to know that the future is going to have those qualities in there. Today's video though, I'll focus on the word permission. Do you have permission to move on? Do you have permission to move forward? Do you have permission to live your life fully with this person not in your world? And that permission can come from a variety of situations. Now you can metaphorically in your mind have a conversation with that person and say, well, what would you want me to do in my life right now? Would you want me to live a full life? Would you want me to honor your memory by having a much, much livelier life? Energi energized, you know, all the qualities that you brought to me, would you want me to have another partner, for example? Maybe you don't want to move on from their memory, but you don't want to be stuck forever. So permission, ask yourself, go and have a conversation with that person and ask yourself, are they giving you permission? Go and ask for permission. Go and say, hey, well, what, what can I do? Like, what would honor your memory? Would going, for example, if it's a husband's lost his wife, would he go out and find, you know, another, start dating again? And some people start doing that, but they won't allow anyone in. And so, what is that resistance? Some of it is you're letting go of the map of the world. In NLP, one of the things is, is in the NLP presuppositions is the map is not the territory. And so you think about the map is not the territory, meaning the map of the world is not reality. But we get so depressed when our map of the world disappears. In some cases, the map of the world is we were supposed to be together forever. And if you're supposed to be together forever and then you're not, it's like, oh my God, everything I expected is now gone. Our mind does not like that, I can tell you that much. <laughs> and so that's something to think about. Do you need permission from the people who have gone for you to step forward into your life? Do you need permission to build a new map of the world that looks diff a bit different, but still gives you the qualities that you were getting from that person? Often we're chasing a feeling, an emotion, from our partners. And we think that this is the only map that's available. The reality is there are many maps that are available, many ways to get those emotional needs met. Now, this is not about letting them go forever. We still want to hold on to their spirit, hold on to their memories, hold on to their qualities of that person. 
I just wanted to have a conversation about permission, asking permission from them, bringing the qualities with you, and allowing yourself to create a new map of the world. What do I mean by map of the world? Well, the map of the world is about how you perceive the world should be. This can really beat us up if you're not careful. And ask yourself how the world should be. I should have been with this person forever. That didn't happen. But it's happened for a reason. And you're strong enough to get through it. And so what is the map of the world for you? Like, what is it you've been chasing that is not allowing you to let go of that? Now, we can find out that stuff from your t- from doing a timeline with you, which is a, a process which I mix with my self-directed healing. And in that process, we can help you to uncover the thing that you've really been craving and chasing in your spirit. And it's going to allow you, by healing that, to move on. Now, if the loved one passed away, you know, a day ago, well, it's just a process of going through things. But if they passed away 30 years ago, like one of my clients, no longer really appropriate to be devastated like that. You can be, you know, devastation means you're not coping. Devastation means, you, you know, you're no longer thriving. And so that's my question for you guys. How can we cope better? A new map of the world. What emotions are you chasing? So that's my next question. What emotions are you chasing? You've got your picture, which you can move around, which is the first video. You've got the qualities of the person, uh, and you can bring them with you into the present moment. You've got the qualities of the person that you can imagine in the future that are with you in your life somehow. And these are all ways of helping you move forward. And now we've got the map of the world. Your map of how things should have been and building a new map. Understanding what emotion you're chasing when they were supposed to be with this person forever. I hope this helps you guys today. There's a lot more you can do in this process. When I do a process like this with a, with a client, it's you know, a solid two hour session to really get beneath the surface of the thinking and to help you have a win where emotionally you feel more stable, you feel more solid, you feel more grounded without losing the loved one. We don't want to lose them. They can stay with you forever. That's my tips for today. I hope that some of this helps someone out there. This is Matt Tate from Fork and Road Coaching, and I'll look forward to seeing you in the next video.